It is 948. If you're just tuning in, it is Imagine It Time, and Chief Scientist Carl Nelson and I are going to have a Kool-Aid drinking contest. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Well, actually, today at the Science Center, we're hosting the uh, state finals of a state competition, a national competition, I should say, okay. called You Be the Chemist. It's designed to get middle school students excited about chemistry. Sure, yeah. So I thought, what better way to get people excited about chemistry than something you can do at home that touches on something that's sort of basic to the whole field of chemistry, acids and bases. All right, so okay. everybody pay attention. This is something you can do. You, you can do at home. This is really cool. A lot of uh, foods have sort of a, a compound inside them that will change color based upon whether it's an acid or a base. Okay. Okay. Red cabbage is my favorite because it has a beautiful color range. And a terrible okay? smell. And a terrible smell. <laughs> and so, but, okay, so this is cool though. What you do is you get some red cabbage. If you have a lot of time, just throw it in some water and let it sit for a while. If you don't have much time, throw it in a blender, you know, <laughs> blend it up. Get a little juice out. You can right. you could even um, boil this, all right? And you get that lovely purple juice. And you're straining it there. And you want to strain it to get you know some of the gunk out of the way. And what's nice about this is this will change color, whether you put an acid or a base with it. All so right. let's start with something we probably all know: vinegar. Sure. Tony, you've got some vinegar back here. Okay. Take that little pipette and just add a few drops to our first uh, cup there. Right. So this is sort of a litmus test. Kind of, yeah. Litmus paper is an acid-base indicator. Okay. Give it a good squirt. All right, vinegar it up. Yeah. Give it another good squirt. There we go. And if so you want to get really vinegar. crazy, you could just throw the whole, All right, just pour yeah. something. Yeah, there you go. It always All gets right. a little crazy with Carl around. Now, you can see it's kind of turning a little bit of a reddish color, yeah. okay? Sure. So that's going to be sort of our known thing. Acids turn red. I've got some sodium hydroxide or some lye over here. All right. I'm going to put this one in our last container mm. and just a few squirts and you can see it turns a nice, brilliant green. That's the other end of the spectrum. That's the other end of the spectrum. Now, back here, we've got some other things you can play with. What do you, okay. what do you want to put in? All right, well, we've, we've got, got what? Uh, a lemon. lemon juice and, uh, you know. Yeah, so got some lemon juice. pre squozen for you there. Go ahead and <laughs> squirt we'll it in. Try a little bit. We'll just, we'll just or you can just dump it in. Carl and Nelson that's, method. That's the whole point here, is it's about trying things. There's not a right way to do this. Sure. But I want you to experiment with stuff. Oh, um, that's good call. Seven up. I don't know. Right. Acid base. Have you done this? Uh, I haven't. No, I mean that's the whole point. Let's <laughs> see right. what happens. It may it may do nothing. It may not. It, now one nice thing here is the uncola <laughs> is to keep one container that you never add anything to. That's your control. Sure. Okay. So it, it doesn't look at like it's as acidic as um, the vinegar or the no lemon juice. Even if we dump a lot in slightly it's, though. A little bit. Oh yeah. It yeah. is. It okay. might not be the best thing to settle a stomach. Now, this is great. Egg yolks. <laughs> okay. The yolks on now, us. If, I'll, I'll let you add these. Okay. Keep this one our constant. Keep Dump it. it in there. All right. So if you wanted to make in green eggs egg. in ham, <laughs> egg yolks are a little bit alkaline. In fact, wow. this they would be blue eggs in ham, I guess. Ooh, uh, but if you add a little of your leftover uh, ground up uh, cabbage juice to your mm -hmm. eggs, you could make green eggs. Sure. And, and this is best to do with perhaps disposable clear plastic cups so you don't, uh, you know, you know you can. up your ones at home. You can. You can even do crazy things like you can dye some coffee filters <laughs> and if it's a nice purple color there but if we spritz it with a little bit of an alkaline we can turn it into a green color oh that's okay. wild so that's, that goes back to your litmus paper yeah it's kind of like a piece of paper that changes color you don't like the green you're tired of it you can squirt it back with a little <laughs> vinegar and we'll turn it back to that nice orange color oh how about that the scientific right. principles applied to common magic thanks very much carl <laughs> sure. nelson the imagination station if you want to go down there Check it out. The hours are on your screen. And that is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.